tonight at 11, one woman is taking a stand and doing her part to make a change to save lives. Following a deadly collision last week that killed one woman and seriously hurt another as they were crossing a dark street in Anderson here, the woman we spoke with is getting out to literally take names. How many lives has to be taken before somebody actually do something about it and that's why I'm here. Cynthia Young knows the two women who were hit as they crossed this road last Thursday night. The pickup truck driver who hit the mother and daughter told police he did not see them before the collision. The mother died. I'm speaking for everybody. I'm speaking for people that has to cross this walk and it's a dangerous walk. Cynthia believes what she's fighting for is simple. She wants the state to light up this dark section of North Scatterfield Road in Anderson, also known as State Road 9, so that it's safe for residents of the Cross Lakes Apartments, where she lives, to get to this shopping center across the street. I want the city, the state who's ever responsible for this road, I would like to see a crosswalk where you push the button, 60 seconds just to walk across and be safe. She also wants a caution light installed to sync with traffic signals at nearby intersections so speeding drivers know to slow down along this stretch. When Cynthia turned to the city to get answers, she was given paperwork for a petition. Right now, I have 58 signatures. Now, she's collecting names, hoping there's power in numbers to nudge the state to make those safety enhancements to the road it oversees. This is my first time doing this. I really don't know what to do and how to do it, but I'm, I'm walking out here on faith and what I do know. Now, 50 year old Nancy Shaw died last Thursday in that deadly collision. Her 29 year old daughter, Melissa Spratlin, is still in the hospital. We'll continue to check in with Cynthia as she works to collect as many signatures as possible. And we'll also get updates from the state regarding any plans to improve safety on this stretch of State Road 9.